Hello and welcome back to day 15 of my road to 200 kilogram total. Now for today, I just can't hide my excitement. Uh, it might not be that evident in the video, but hi but since I'm recording this now at night, just before I sleep, but like my God, Hydalin Diaz, our weightlifter from the Philippines has won the gold medal in the women's 55 kilogram category. She's the first Filipina wait Filipina to get a to win a gold medal and is also our first gold medalist in weightlifting in the Philippines history. So and she beat out uh, the the athlete the team China sent who at this point they were sure was going to win gold. So yeah, that was so it was insanely hyped. Uh, well, anyways, to talk about how my weekend went, to give a little context to today's training session, uh, I wasn't that tired from the weekend considering that I wasn't able to go out and leave the house because our neighborhood was extremely flooded. Luckily, it didn't enter our house, but yeah that sort of limited the amount of exercise i could do so i was pretty much limited to just playing with thor inside working his energy out and doing some treadmill and i sort of wrecked my shins doing a lot of trying to do a lot of jump rope exercises inside the house and yeah and i think maybe maybe i hurt my back lifting a lot of things and bringing them from the first floor to the second floor which by the way the w flood water didn't reach even reach inside the garage so at least that's that's a good thing but you know even with uh, the floodgates installed you really can never be too sure with stuff like this which is why we ended up moving a lot of stuff from the bot from the first floor down to the second floor of our house well anyways okay time to talk about the training I have decided, oh, well actually I'm in the process of deciding whether or not I should move back up to 73 because honestly speaking, trying to maintain or trying to go down to 67 after getting stuck with 69 and 70 for so long, it's, it's honestly very hard once you reach that certain amount of body fat left. There's only so much you can do before requiring you know performance enhancing drugs or diuretics that can help you really lose that little bit of weight left i plan on competing i don't know when but hopefully when the situation in the philippines has cleared up and people can now compete again in weightlifting well actually i'm pretty certain that we're about to get the surge of weightlifters trying to going to try and make weightlifting a thing because idol and has just won gold medal which is a huge thing, an absolutely huge thing for us. Um, sorry, the Pinoy Pride is really, really, really high right now. Anyway, so, alright, focus on the training, guy. focus on the training. So yeah, I'm now warming up for some snatch doubles, which I... This is actually the one that I was supposed to do last week. Uh, Fitz hasn't updated my training yet for this week, so... I'm just I'm just working off of the weight and the exercises that he prescribed last week for my day one, which I wasn't able to do anyway. So here's me warming up to my main set. Snatches again. I'm I'm fairly certain I'm much better at snatching than I am at clean and jerking at this point. Oh, I'm I'm so thankful for that cue to just get up high instead of trying to brush the hips up into the bar. So that's really helping my toes to stay firmly on the ground and exert as much vertical power into the bar. So let's watch now in the main set. Slide move back. Uh, usually that happens a lot, which is why I require a lot of warming up. A lot of grooving, grooving the moving movement pattern, if you will. So here's the second set. By the way, these are eight sets of doubles. Again, and I'm trying to incorporate all the things that Fitz has told me to do, such as being more aggressive with the bar, really accelerating during the third pull, during the second pull from the f from the first uh, pull, accelerate a lot during the second pull. I oh, don't know, I can't word right now. Huh. 
so yeah i'm trying to incorporate more of that and wow yeah as you can see that was a beautiful set it really takes a while for me to get into the group movement of things all right i think this is the wow you know what looking back my snatches have improved tremendously i wish i could you know what I can say the same thing for the clean and jerk, which I will do, I think, right? Nope, not yet. Yeah, wow, I forgot this is a lot of snatching. But I'm not gonna complain, I love snatches. Definitely more than the clean and jerk. I just wish I could snatch him heavier, but... My god, it's such a beautiful movement when done right. And that's that's the thing that also, that's also keeping me really focused on the form is that I want it to look I want everything to look as aesthetic as possible which is something I got from Kuo Hee Sing Chun 59 oh she's she's actually gonna be competing in three hours I'm not sure if I'll be able to wake up for that will I wake up for that I probably should wake up for that you know what I will wake up for that I'll wake up at 3 a.m. just to watch it well anyways uh here I am warming up for the clean and jerk oh and something that um, something that has been, that has, oh my god, how much more do I, well anyways, this, uh, this still isn't the clean and jerk, wow. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm very much rambling at this point. Uh, come on, is this the last one? It has to be. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, that's the only last one. Yeah, there we go. Clean and jerk time. So, something that I do a lot is... Again, I, I don't know why. It's I like focusing more on the pull in the clean and jerk so that I can save that leg strength. Leg strength of getting back up. So, I tend to power everything. Well, actually, I'm trying to incorporate that I do the full clean at very light weight. But the heavier it goes, the more, the more I have to power it. Right here, doing some. This is now clean plus two jerks. I finally found a system that works for me though with the clean and jerk. As you can notice, my second jerk will look looks a lot worse than the first because look after the after the clean, I immediately bring my left foot in and jerk right away. I'm not sure if that's allowed because at heavier weights you're definitely going to be oscillating the bar and I know that oscillation is prohibited yeah Nico Zani was actually from this from the men 67 almost got in trouble for that anyway here's the first main set I was honest you know I'm gonna be honest I was scared of this because this is come on this is 90% of my best of my recent best clean and jerk of like of 100 so first few sets pretty ugly and I have, and after this session, I have a pretty massive uh, bruise on my left clavicle. These are things that you don't notice at all, honestly, when you're doing it, because it doesn't hurt. But then you just look back, you you take off your shirt, you go for a bath, and you realize, oh wow, I have a bruise here, and then you start feeling the pain. Strong, clean. Kind of, yeah, I, I really need to tell Fitz that I, I think I need more front squats because my knees are just not cooperating during the during the drive. You can see it go in, it goes out, then in, then out again. Watch the jerk. Oh, that was good. That was really good. This is when I started realizing that this is the move. This is how I will jerk. Still kind of need to fix the elbows pointing up ideally you want the elbows to be pointed down because that helps drive the bar higher instead of you know just you're basically tricepping tr tricep snap it into place yeah there we go lost balance but the actual drive is oh sorry for the noise my dog woke up to drink some water yeah after the flood in the rain it's pretty humid here humid humid here And I think, alright, we're coming up to the 7th set. This 7th set is my absolute best set out of all of them. 
boom, just straight into the jerk. Catching it with confidence, then going at it again. Nice, beautiful. And last set was not as good. Clean was still clean, absolutely phenomenal. But as you can see, if you look at my back foot, my back foot is now going flat. Yeah, there, there. I need to focus more on bending the, bending the back knee. If you watch Heidelin's 127 kilo clean and jerk, you can, uh, during the jerk, my god, that, that back knee. That's what I call back knee of the gods. It just went down, and then she willed herself back up from that position. She's definitely going to be feeling sore tomorrow. Right now, moving on to some back squats. Again, since I am, uh, at this point, I'm like 71 from set from 69. I was 69 kilograms on Friday, woke up today at 71 because of all the resting that I did. So, yeah, this is a 95 kilogram back squat. Is like, this, this was nothing for a 6x6. Six six. Well, anyways, that's it for today. Uh, go before I end. Please go. Please go. Congratulate Heidel and Diaz for her win in the gold medal, and let's wish Elrin Aldo a good luck in her event in a few hours in the women's 64. With the absence of um, Deng Wei, that is going to be an exciting session because everyone is going to be getting trip vying for that gold. Alright, anyways, thank you guys, and I hope you uh, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you.